How you doing here? <clears throat> well, I got me something new. On uh, my uh, desktop videos of the morning, talking about how I'm out of space on all my computers and drives. So finally, they finally went down enough that I decided to buy this uh, Seagate 5 terabyte <coughs> expansion drive. It's a uh, it's USB 2.0 2.3 uh, set up and um, they have good reviews pretty good reviews overall I'm just kind of showing the box while I'm trying to realize what I'm trying to say here um, <coughs> it uh, but some of them have failed that's, that seems to be the way with everything anymore not fa my last few years mine will fail in two weeks you don't know till you get it and it's just ridiculous but can't change the world just by not liking the way it is so just gotta tr read the reviews and uh, do your research and try to figure out what might actually work for you and not give you a lot of pain so this thing's have uh, that's a little seal there like let, let them know you've opened it I don't know uh, I didn't think about that you know the return policies I got it on Amazon they're pretty good but uh, there are some differences with the computer stuff and maybe you know probably a few other electronic things things that are so I don't know I didn't even really think about it until just this minute but I'm just gonna for now I'll leave the plastic on there and cut it open um, let's see if it, <coughs> everything's in there. I'm really just, uh, I'm not really into, I don't really watch unboxing videos that I just like to see the product, but sometimes it's good to do it because if you don't get what, everything you ordered, you know, you never know. Sometimes it, I've read some reviews where people got a brand new, supposedly brand new item, and it turned out to be used items stuck in there. Maybe if I'd watch more unboxing videos, I'd know how to get this stuff out, huh? There we go. That was just tight. I think that's our uh, peripherals. All right. Hold it up where it's kind of convenient to me. It's a little too close to the camera. So there's our USB cable. That's a standard USB. Oh, one end is. Can you see that? One end is. Uh, I guess that's USB 3.0. I've actually not. Don't have anything that's 3.0. I think one of my computers may have a 3.0 plug on it, the back of it. I imagine that goes into the. Uh, that's something I hadn't really thought much about because I wasn't even planning on. There's the power adapter. But uh, let's see. Get it out and find out. There we go. So we get a little manual with it. Tiny text that can't be read without a huge magnifying glass, as usual. I think I've already downloaded the manual. If I haven't, I will, so I can read the thing on the computer. What do we got here? Yeah, that's a resealable bag. So, it, um, this is the one I got, no, I got the, it's really, I guess, last year's model, I don't know what year it was actually made, uh, it doesn't come with the, uh, it's got some big vent holes in it, they kept saying they get hot is the thing, and a lot of people were taking them out of the case, because they thought that's what was making them die, yeah, that, that cable goes in there, so, you, you can only put it in one way and it goes there. I don't remember USB 3. I'm not going to lie. I, I don't remember. I didn't re I didn't think it had like a divot in the, in the deal in the connector there, but maybe it does. Maybe they all do. But uh and that's what I'm kind of sitting here thinking, okay, 3.0 from what I remember is a little bit different shaped plug. So, but that's not. It's like this on one end. That's going to go in there, and uh, I'll get it out and do it. And then the regular one will go into the computer. But see, that's just standard. 
So I don't know. I have, like I said, I haven't used any 3.0. I've only looked at pictures and read about it. But there you go. That one. That funky one goes. Looking one goes in there. So that's just probably so you get it in right. And unless you have to go buy yourself another cable to do 3.0, uh, don't imagine I'll need to be checking into that. But uh, like I said, I, well, the, I know the machine I'm going to use it on is not. There's a couple of different ways I could do it, but uh, the machine I'm thinking of plugging it in on at least right away is uh, only 2.0 anyway. But I got lots of stuff I need to back up <clears throat> and if I some of my old, older black up drives that are um, I don't think that would work on the camera anyway but I'm looking at the if I turn it just right it might all that reflection from the light so anyway I just wanted to see what it said um So Tony, I can't really even read. I was gonna try to read the model number. <coughs> Not seeing it. There's a part number two o one o r four one o o four o one four. Zero numbers. Oh, model. S R D O N F two. Turn that light out and see. Now, sometimes I can get my. It's the lights up in the ceiling reflecting off my. It, that's a hard. Uh, I can. I love my gla magnifying glasses, but I have a lot of trouble with the lights reflecting into myself when I'm just trying to use them. So, anyway, that should be enough for a good while. I almost. They had this one on for 109, normally about 129 to 135 uh, for the last year. I've been watching them. And, uh, this is a five terabyte, and then the eight terabyte, uh, just same th model type, but eight terabytes was uh, 169, I think, and that was a good markdown. I almost got that one, but I thought, man, I don't spend that much money. So uh, I thought, well, you know, you could get two of these for 30 bucks more, or so I think is what I figured out, and then you'd have 10 terabytes. So I thought, why don't I fill this one up first and then get another one later? <coughs> but. Um, some, a lot of people said they took theirs out of the case and uh, stuck them in a computer. They said what they really are when you get them open, they're, uh, they're the same thing as a laptop hard drive. They'll plug right into a SATA cable, SATA cable. I don't see the easy way to get it open, though. Now, only thing is, you know, you don't want to take it apart while it's under warranty. Uh, and then have it go out and then they're not, they won't they won't give you another one or anything or fix it or whatever it is they might do something like this that's your backup drive it's really worrisome to the idea of it going out because the whole point is to back up your data but the other one the newer supposedly the newer model from what I read looks a little bit different and it's more smooth instead of textured like that it uh, also comes with a 200 gigabyte online backup, but it only lasts like a year. Then you're gonna have to pay for it, so then your fi files are held hostage there. So what would be the point even getting started with that unless you want to pay for an online backup? And I don't. So I don't want anything that matters to me out there on the cloud, as they say, out there on someone else's server, um, to where it could be hacked and you know misused, used and misused. Um, keep on my own personal machines on my own servers and how to keep them uh, protected that way so um, it may uh, it's probably I've used USB adapters on my regular hard drives and uh, I've used yeah, yeah. I was making a little video of my thing here. <laughs>